Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A few videos ago I did a Q&A and one question that you guys asked was, if there were one YouTuber outside of the beauty world that you could collab with, who would it be? And my answer to that was Shane Dawson and Jenna Marbles and today, my dreams came true. Kind of. <laughs> There's a really crazy trend going on on YouTube right now where different people try to follow and recreate beauty gurus makeup tutorials. This is started by Thomas Halbert who tried to follow a Jeffree Star makeup tutorial. I will link his video down below. He started this whole thing and now it is literally blown up. This morning, I woke up to a million tweets because living legend Jenna Marbles decided to follow a James Charles makeup tutorial. I can die happy. I was so absolutely honored to have Jenna follow one of my makeup tutorials. I was a little bit spooked though, not gonna lie, because she chose a Valentine's Day look from last year. I still had my man bun and block eyebrows. Oh, those are dark times we did not talk about anymore on this channel, but I think she absolutely killed the look. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting much, but I really think sister looked so good. So definitely go check out Jenna's video. Go show her the sister love. Tell her I sent you. And for today's little surprise video, I thought it would be only right to follow the trend and recreate one of Jenna's makeup tutorials. Without further ado, I'm gonna throw all my makeup knowledge down the drain. I am no longer a beauty guru and I'm gonna be getting ready using a Jenna Marbles makeup tutorial. Lord help me. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so for on YouTube, and we search Jenna Marbles makeup tutorial. Okay, so we have the I tried following a James Child makeup tutorial. That's iconic. We also have Jenna Marbles drunk makeup tutorial from five years ago. This has 23 million views, hello. When am I gonna have a tutorial that gets 23 million views? That sounds the best ever. The fact that it is a drunk tutorial spooks me a little bit. You guys know I hear on the James Charles channel, we are sober sisters, but let's give it a try. <laughs> No one ever really talks about how hard it is if you go like day drinking and then everyone's like, all right, yeah, rally in a few hours and then let's go out. How impossible it is to put makeup on and get ready when you're drunk. So Never experienced that issue before. <laughs> so the first thing I gotta do is get drunk. I'm gonna... Okay, can I already tell you I'm not gonna follow this first step. This is not off to a great start. Make sure that your skin is ready for your makeup. My primer. By, uh, flapping it. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is a lot. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a normal tutorial. Okay, this is a makeup tutorial for my vlogs for unskilled people. And today, that is what I am. Let's try this. All right, so you guys have been requesting this video for forever, um, a makeup tutorial. I feel like I'm watching two different people. What is going on? I just want to have a disclaimer. I am not good at doing makeup. Like, I don't have any skills. <laughs> I am not- Same. Uh, talented. Uh, Same. If you want to learn what I did and how I did it, then you can watch my makeup tutorial. Okay, even though this video looks like it was filmed on a toaster oven, she looks great. So hopefully I'll be able to recreate this on me today. I don't usually use the primer like during the day because it's kind of just like a waste to me when my makeup stays perfectly fine um, without it during the day. That is literally the tea. I feel like primer, and correct me if I'm wrong for many of you guys, I feel like primer literally does nothing. Like every time I use a primer, if anything, it just disrupts the foundation, especially on my nose. That's why I literally stopped using it and I only use moisturizer anymore, but I feel like primer is the biggest gimmick in the beauty world. Like, what does it even do? Most of you guys always ask, you're like, how your, what, your skin looks so good and perfect. In my videos, I use a very, very heavy foundation. This is MAC Studio Tech. Oh, oh my god. Sister said we are doing a full coverage vanilla cake mix makeup today. Good lord, that foundation can cover, like, anything. Like, that's enough to cover, like, my scandals. I don't have the exact cream foundation that Jenna uses, but I do have the Krylon TV Paint Stick, which is equally as full coverage and also a cream foundation. This is literally what I use for drag makeup, but I guess we're gonna use this today. So I just apply this like all over my face. Like, With a brush? Oh gosh. As heavy as possible. I guess I'm just gonna go right in on this. Oh my God, this is so full coverage. My skin is crying. Oh my. Oh my. 
Oh my god, flashback Mary is shaking. I did not even realize how light this foundation was. Oh! Alright, so now I like to stack my foundation. Hello, where is the concealer? The concealer not exists yet in 2011. I like to use the MAC Mineralized Powder. This is in medium plus. Okay, I don't have that powder, but I do have my MAC Studio Fix Foundation, which is a MAC pressed powder that has some color to it. She is scrubbing that all over. Uh, okay, here we go. No. Oh my God. This is not how you're supposed to set your face. Setting anything that you put on your face is gonna be the key to making it last long. And True. Put, so okay, Sister Jenna knows what's up. Um, this stuff is really important. Love either Kermit or Marbles in the background. Next step, this is why I was like, it doesn't even matter what color my foundation is. Okay, I need this step, clearly. <laughs> because I just take bronzer, like. Okay. So this is MAC bronzing powder. I think this, this video is really sponsored by MAC. Again. So this brush is like a throwaway brush. Like look at this, the dogs have chewed this. I this love that. This is just that. like a brush. Mm -hmm. I will use this on my body too. Oh, love a dual purpose sister, I don't have that brush or dogs to chew on them, but I do have my Morphe M527. Use code James for 10% off. This is just like a crap ass brush. Like you could buy this for 50 cents at CVS or maybe like a dollar. And oh, I love the place that she's going with of all over her face. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start off on the cheekbones like she did. I noticed she put a lot of this in her eyelid region up here and also Right across her cheeks and across her nose. Oh my God. I can feel the foundation on my nose crying for help right now. But you know what? I guess we're going for the sun-kissed sister Donna look. Okay, well, uh, at least I am back to my normal skin tone. Now, if you thought we were done with the bronzer, you're wrong. I'm taking the same bronzer. No! I'm taking a contouring brush. You okay. Know, like, you don't have a contouring Same bronzer. Great. And I'm gonna put it into my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna blend it in and then blend around the frame of my face. Okay. Okay. So she's contouring her face, right? Okay, let's pause and go in. Right in the hollows of the cheekbones to really give that sunken in, sculpted look. I like that she actually described that that is definitely correct placement and I always do my contour in my cheeks and as well as around the face as well. That really highlights the center of your face which brings attention to it. So good job, Sister Jenna. That is correct. I feel like we have reached the maximum level of bronzer. Please don't be my bronzer. Seriously, Please don't be my bronzer. My Please don't be my bronzer. Yes! Okay, thank God. Peachy color because it's really <gasps> okay, you guys know I love a good peach blush. Um, this is Lorac in peach. Okay, I don't have that, but I do have MAC blush in peaches. Hopefully, this should be a similar color. It's a blended, <laughs> a blended line. So according to like your face shape, Okay. Where you should put your blush, but I like to blend it in like with my bronzer a little bit and just keep it right on my cheekbones. Okay. Okay. So Me too. I feel like she's actually doing a really good job of explaining where to place the products and how much to put on and like how to blend it out. That's awesome. Good job, Sister Jenna from seven years ago. Now I'm gonna do my eyes and this is like my, my look for every day when I'm just getting ready for the day. Okay. You, you're gonna be amazed at how friggin' easy and I don't care this look is. Oh, so I love I an do I don't care look. Like, I'm not even gonna put a base on my eyes because I don't like, I don't do oh, no. I'm just getting ready for the day. Like, who does that? Like, Me. You know, Everybody. So. I really, really like this light brown color right here. Okay, so it looks like she has a duo palette of a light, 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 light brown and a slightly darker brown, let me go see what I have. Okay, so I just found this CoverGirl True Naked Eyeshadow Palette. It basically is like my only palette that has light tans and browns. Um, if you guys know me, you know that I really don't do a lot of soft makeup, so we're gonna make this work today. So try and find a color in the store that just really it looks natural, but um, makes your eye color kind of pop. So for me, because my eyes are like a light blue and green, uh, this brown color really does that for me. And okay, so once again, I feel like she's doing a really, really good job of actually explaining why she's picking each color. Like, she's talking about how she wants light matte shades on her eyelids to really bring attention to her eyes. I feel like this is actually a good tutorial. Sister Jenna, do you think yours everywhere are quaking? Take this light brown and with this blending brush, <laughs> which is totally not what you're supposed to use it for. Okay. Really? Well, you can use any brush for anything. And I just not apply true. it all over my entire eyelid. 
Oh God. I'm gonna take my M433 and dip into this light brown shade in my nudes palette and I guess put it all over the eyelid with a blending brush. Like Jenna said, this is definitely not the brush that you would normally use for this. I would usually pick something like this, a more like a flat packer brush to really get that color on there. Oops, to really get that color on there. But you know what? We're gonna just use a blending brush for today. And like Jenna said, we're gonna put it all over. I feel like this is literally doing nothing because of the amount of bronzer I have on my face right now. I'm gonna take this darker brown and I'm taking the same brush. I didn't clean it and do anything to it. Love, and I'm just gonna that. like okay. um, darken up my crease and the outer corner. Okay. And if you notice, I am not, like I'm not even close on mirror right now. I'm like just slapping it on my eye. <laughs> I don't know about the whole slapping method. I can actually feel my eye kind of throbbing right now. That definitely does not feel good. I'm gonna stick to my windshield wiper motion, but you do use this. I look dead. <laughs> oh. Right, this, this is literally how I like clean out my makeup. You can take a Q-tip or whatever, but I just go like this and I have no time. Oh no. And if you wanna touch up like your temples now that you've messed them up, <laughs> you can't. But I don't, because I don't care. I'm oh, you know what? I feel like this is a Tana Mojo video. Oh, that is just not what you're supposed to do. As painful as that was for me to do as a beauty guru, I am following a core Jenna's tutorial. I do see so many people doing that when it comes to fixing up their eyeshadow. A really great technique you can do if you want to kind of clean it up and make it just a little bit more defined is either grab a little bit of concealer on your beauty blender and just go right in and kind of just go up against that edge and really just clean it up. This will do a great job of kind of lightening up that area and defining a little bit without ripping up all of your foundation, leaving a red spot which just looks spooky and horrible. Or sometimes, if it's really not looking that bad, you can take a powder puff or your beauty blender and a little bit of setting powder and just go right under, just like that, and wipe it off after a little while, just like baking normally does. And that shadow will be cleaned up and your foundation will not be disrupted and completely gone like it is here. Helpful hint. I'm a big fan of gel liners. Um, okay. I take, um, this brush just came with it. You can use any kind of liner brush. I'm a fan of, I'm gonna put this right just on my upper lid. Before I even start doing this, I noticed Jenna is talking at her lid to get it straight across while looking down at her mirror to draw on her liner. This is something that is really, really common for people to do as well, but this is actually a really, really bad technique. This is something that can cause really, really bad eye wrinkles, which obviously none of us want. If you're gonna do gel liner and you're having trouble getting it really, really even, I would recommend getting a compact mirror like this. And instead of kind of like looking at your mirror and trying to get it straight, Hold your mirror at a downwards angle like this and hold your brush upwards. That'll give you really easy access to your eyelid so you have the whole thing to look at without having to stretch it, which is bad in the long run. Right here in the corner. Oh, okay, I we're doing away. Just follow like this line of my lower yeah. eyelid up. Okay. So we're doing a wing, I guess, as well. And Jenna is definitely right in that when you draw an eyeliner wing, you definitely want to follow the natural shape of your eye. And Jenna just drew a baby wing today, so that is the same thing that we are going to do. If I turn to the side, this is basically how your wing eyeliner should look. As you can see, it goes right from the bottom and it follows my eye right up at the shape and just comes right up into a nice point and goes right back into that liner, which is really, really flattering for my eye shape. Way too many people draw their wing eyeliner going right up like that. That eyeliner shape is flattering on Literally nobody. Please don't do that. Um, okay. I don't typically wear fake lashes like walking around the world just because I, it makes me feel weird during the day. Can't relate. But for I my love videos, a good lash. Do, okay. They're like just cheap lashes. They they are it's like black crap. Okay, those look like Ardell Demi Wispies. Hold on. Whoa! Hello, where's the explanation? Where's the glue? Where's the tweezers? She's putting this lash, entire lash, may I add on with her hand. Even as a beauty guru who does this as a job for a living every single day, I still struggle with putting on eyelashes. It is one of the hardest parts of makeup and she's just gonna throw it on there, speed it up like it's nobody's business. I don't think so, sister.
Did I actually just get that on there? Are you kidding me? Okay, lashes are on. Let's go into mascara, I hope. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. <sighs> Please tell me she did not just glue on a pair of eyelashes without doing mascara to blend them together. Oh, Jenna! With my pencil, I take and follow the natural she? curve and arch of okay. my brow. Okay. Like a, a whole lot of work. Mm -hmm. And same thing on the top. And then I'm just gonna blend it in like that. And mm -hmm. then I just go over it a little bit with the shadow. That's it? She literally just did the eyebrow in like 20 seconds. My eyebrow process is like 20 minutes for each eyebrow. Okay, like Jenna said, it's gonna go right in. Follow the shape of the brow and make the tail. And then go at the top and follow the natural shape of the brow. Blend it in. Tell me why that eyebrow does not even look that bad. What is going on? I have to go over my fake eyelashes with mascara. Thank God. Like when they get. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Like, Woo! I can roll with this. This is just drugstore mascara. I really still to this. Okay, I think that's a Maybelline mascara, but this is filmed in 2011. So I don't even know if that's being sold anymore. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Big Shot mascara, which is being sold and is good. <laughs> Not only do I want to teach Jenna how to do makeup, but I also need to teach her how to do a tongue pop. Desperately. <laughs> I always do my waterline. Mm -hmm. I feel like it just finishes your eye. For sure. But I'm going to do it with black today. Um, okay. Sometimes it really makes it look, my eyes look kind of small. Um, it does. Other times I do it with white if I want them to like stand out a little bit more. Okay, yeah, so once again, Jenna's giving a helpful hint. When you use black eyeliner, it often gives you like a sultry, sexy look, but it does make your eyes look much smaller. I like to use white, like Jenna said, makes your eyes look really, really big, draws attention to them, and gives you like a doll-like look, but gotta follow Jenna today. Here we go. Simple stuff like mascara to me, black eyeliner. You can spend $1 or $30. And if you're just gonna stick it in your waterline, tea. Makeup is very, very expensive. You can definitely find cheaper options, that is for sure. Sister's preaching the truth. Just like lip gloss on it. I don't usually wear lipstick during the day. Oh. This is Makeup Forever Lab Shine in S24. We're not doing lipstick? Uh oh. So I just grabbed the MAC lip gloss in the shade Please Me. This is the lightest pink I could find. So let's go ahead and apply. I'm like a big fan of anything shiny and pink. So you'll always see me with a lot of different variations of that. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. And that's it? Wait a second. Where's the highlighter? Where's the setting spray? Where's the setting powder? Sister! Okay, sisters, I guess we are done here and this is the completed look for today. Looking at this from a beauty guru standpoint as someone who does makeup every single day, I definitely have products and techniques that I like to use and definitely would have loved to see added to this tutorial. But the whole point of this video is obviously to throw all my makeup knowledge out the window and kind of look at this as an outsider trying to follow a YouTube tutorial just like all of you sisters out there. I really don't think this looks that bad and throughout Jenna's video, I actually feel like she did a really, really great job of explaining every single step she was doing so everyone could kind of get it no matter what their skill level really was. Jenna's video actually included a lot of really, really great tips that beauty gurus tend to skip over, but that would be super helpful to any beginner makeup wear, such as using a different brush for bronzing and contouring. No, they're not the same thing. Using your natural eye shape as a guide for drawing your winged liner, one of the best tricks I've ever learned. Using mascara to blend together your fall with your regular lashes and of course the pros and cons of using black and white eyeliner. Overall, I had so much fun following a Jenna Marbles makeup tutorial today. I know how crazy she can be in her videos sometimes, but I think it was really, really cool to see this more chill side of Jenna, just relaxing. I've been subscribed to Jenna for years now. I grew up watching her. So to wake up this morning and see that she recreated one of my tutorials and has been watching me and is a true sister was definitely one of the coolest things I've ever experienced on YouTube. Thank you so much, Jenna, if you're watching this. I love you, sister. 
Although I love this tutorial, please let me do your makeup and do it right. It will be such a huge honor. <laughs> If you enjoyed today's video and this Jenna Marbles inspired layout, please give it a big thumbs up down below. It means the world to me. And don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below as well and come join the sisterhood. Also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. This week's shout out goes to Sister Lad. Thank you so much for being for always following and supporting. You know I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video Sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet video links so they go live on Twitter. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again to Jenna Marbles. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>